Consider. <clears throat> call, call. Consider. 52 deck of cards. And I think it was uh, you being distracted and the deck of cards being thrown at me that brought this memory back. Um, how many different five card hands can be formed? No conditions. We're good at this already. How many cards? 52. C or P? Why? Because it doesn't matter. Because when the cards go in my hand, what can I do with them? Move them all around. You know, I can do such great card tricks without cards. Just look amazing at it. Expand them. I know. Thank you. You're there. Okay, 52. See how many? Five. Five. Good job. Okay. At least and at most mean I get what? Starts with C, rhymes with braces. Cases. Thank you. One person got the C and rhymes with braces. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks for paying attention. Uh, there will be cases if it says at least or at most. Okay? And we think about it with money. That's how it makes it easier for my brain. So I need at least four. So I pretend I'm going to a store and I need at least four dollars. Do I need four dollars or more or four dollars or less? I need at least four dollars. Four dollars or more, correct? So I'm going to need four cards or more of whatever they're asking me here. Yes? Okay. So I need at least four red cards. How many cards do I need total for every hand? Five. So I need at least four, so I need four or more. So I need four red or five red. Could I have six? Yes. Technically, yes. Can I have six in this question? No, because I need to max out on how many cards? Five. So I need four red or, which is a plus sign, five red. Now what's the catch? If I just do this, I'm going to be wrong. What do I need to do? Each case has to have how many cards? Five. So this one needs four red and one technically not red. The cool thing about cards is they're red or black, so I can say one black technically just because that's the only thing there is, but I can stick to not that. So that one card can be anything but the other card, right? So if the other card's red, then that one card could be anything but red, okay? So how many reds are there? Half the deck. 26, exactly. C, four, and means I do what operation? Multiply, because and and add don't go together. So and is multiply. How many re not reds are there if there's 26 reds? 26, choose one, right? And then the plus sign, 26, choose 5. So every case I do, I get all the 52 cards back, right? Start all over. 52 cards back, start all over. 52 cards back, start all over. Okay? Everyone type it in. You can type it in all at once. I want you to type it in because I want people to see if when they type it in, they get the right answer. So what is the answer? <laughs> What did we get? Wait. <laughs> okay. This one is at most two kings. At most two kings, if I go to a store and I need at most two dollars, I need two dollars or less, two dollars or one dollar, or the case that everyone forgets, zero dollars. So I need two kings. Or one king, or the case that everyone forgets, zero king. So you supplement, see if you can get the right answer. Try it out. So we have two kings, and we have to supplement with what? Three not kings. Okay. One king and four not kings because we need five cards. Five. Zero kings and five not kings. Do I actually have to show the zero kings? Do I have to go like four C zero? No, it's just a one and one times anything stays the same. So can I show it? Sure. Will they on a multiple choice if they show the worked out solution? Probably not. They probably won't have that zero one. Okay. So there are four kings, choose two, and means I multiply. If there are four kings and there are 52 cards, how many of the 52 cards are not kings? 48. 48. 
C3. Now remember, these should add up to 52, right? And or is plus sign. 4 choose 1 times 48 choose 3 plus 4 choose 0 times 48 choose 5. And like I said, this doesn't actually have to be shown, correct? Because 4 choose 0 is 1. It's not going to change your answer. So if they do the answer laid out, they might not show the 4 choose 0. And 4. I don't know why I wrote three. Because they'll shout out to five. Yo. Yes. When you type it into your calculator, what'd you get? Two million. Did you type it in? Yeah. Yeah. Did anyone else type it in? All got the same answer? Yeah. All right. Example three, go. When you're done example three, I want you to try one and two. So your turn below, okay? So do example three. Don't cross out four, we're coming back to it. And do one and two below. Example three, and then your turn, one and two. This one says, consider a standard deck of 52 cards. How many different five card hands can be formed with at least one club? So at least one club means if I went to the store, I need at least one dollar. So what do I need? Dollar or more. Dollar or more. So I could have one club, or two clubs, or Three clubs, or four clubs, or five clubs. And then I supplement with not clubs, correct? Yeah. So it'd be one club and four not clubs. I'm going to write it like that. Because complement, because we know what complement is. And three not clubs, and two not clubs, oh, and one not club, and then that would be done. So, how many clubs are there? 13. Good answer. 13C1. How many not clubs? Yeah, 39C4. Plus 13C2 times 39C3 plus 13C3 times 39C2 plus 13 C4 times 39C1 plus 13C5, which is how many? Two million. 23,203. Yeah. Plus. <coughs> okay. Then we're going to go to your turn number one. So this one says, as the athletic council decides to form a subcommittee of six council members. Now remember we have to decide, do they have jobs or not, correct? If they don't have jobs, if you're just on the committee or you're not, it's a C. So the athletic council determines to, decides to form a subcommittee of six council members to look at new sports programs. There are 15 total athletic council members, six not females, nine males. How many different ways can the subcommittee consist of at most one male? Is there any jobs anywhere on here that make it different for them? No, so it's a combination. We know we're using C's. At most one male. If I need at most one dollar, what do I need? One dollar or less. So I need one male or less, which would be one male or what would the last case be? Zero male. So I need one male and I need how many? Five females in this case, because they're opposite, or I could just say um, five not males. And zero males and six not males. Okay, so how many males are there? Nine, and I choose one, and shh, there are six that are not males, and I choose five, 
plus 9 choose 0. Do I have to show that case? No. No. And 6 choose 6. Now, what I told you before happens sometimes is, yes, you could have 6 females, but maybe there's only 5 of them. So then you go 5 choose 6 and your calculator gets mad at you because can you have 5 and choose 6? No. So if ever you're typing them in and your calculator gets mad at you, think maybe there's a case in there that actually doesn't exist. Like I can have six females, but I only have five of them. So I type in five, six, choose six, and it gets mad, right? So just double check your work. Okay, you don't have to show this one. What is the answer to this? Okay, the next one is... A group of four journalists is to be chosen to cover a murder trial. There are five males and seven female journalists. How many possible groups can be formed from two men and two women? So, two men, two women. Are they, do they have any other special jobs if they're picked first or second? No, no difference, right? So, it's C's. So, two men, two women. How can I guarantee getting a man, choosing it from the males? So, if five choose two and seven choose two. And what do we get? Thank you. Then consisting of at least three men. So if I need at least three dollars, I need three or more. So I need um, four journalists. So I need three men or four men. Three men and one not man, right? So males, we have five. Choose three, not males, we have seven. Choose one, or the plus sign. And then men, we have five, choose four. And what do we get? 75? Perfect. Okay, flipping over. Okay, we can talk about these later. I'm not going to deal with this right now. What I want you to do is flip to this back page. So, person A solves the problem in column A, while person B solves the problems in column B. As you finish each problem, check your answer with the other person. The answer should be the same. If they are not, work together to find your mistake. So, person A is number one and person B is number one. Should result in the same answer. If they don't, discuss and figure out which one is wrong. Both of you could be wrong, or one could be wrong. Discuss through each other, okay? So we have to go in pairs of two. You can even go in three. I don't really care. Um, but you have to pick someone to go with beside you. So I'm going to put you, or two and two, okay? You two. Dexter, can I get you to talk to your I sued you last year with Fiona, and I don't know why that was a thing, but I said that was not the name. I know your name. I don't know why it is. I don't know why it is. Oh, that's not you. I, I didn't call you the phone. I didn't want to do that. You too. You too. You too. You too. You too. Actually, Eric, you want to look at this one? I want to check whatever your name is. Okay. Then you guys, why do you, so the three of you, you do person A, you both do person B by yourself, and then you do me. Okay, you do person B, you do person A, and then check your Do you know where yours is? Yes. So you're going to use paper. You're going to do person A. You do person B. Can you do person A, Dexter? <laughs> you are person A, do you have a pencil? Uh, yes. Okay. So you're doing person A, Eleanor is going to do person B, you're going to compare your answers. Okay. Sounds fun? I believe you. Actually, he's right here, dude. You do those. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> the paper was like, what are you like? He's back. I want to do something. <laughs> 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 